Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this marketing poster in Word from scratch. So let's open a new document. So I've zoomed into the top of this document because it's far easier to build stuff at the top of the document and show you than it bouncing around the page. So the first thing we need to do is to insert the address blocks at the bottom. And the reason for this is because yet again, it will bounce around if I put lots of other graphics into the design first. So let's go to insert icons then go across to icons and search for location. I'm going to select this one and click insert. Once it's selected, just go to wrap text and select in front of text. This will allow you to move it around. Then go back over to icons again and select or type in globe. This is for the internet. Click insert. Again, wrap text in front of text. Back over, telephone or phone. Select which one you want. Click insert. Again, wrap text in front of text. And finally, email, press enter select which one you want and click insert and then just wrap text in front of text. So now we've got these four icons. We need to make them match as much as possible. So I'm just going to select them all. And to do that, just hold your command or control key down and just click on them all. If you're struggling to select them, just select one thing, go to graphics format and go to selection pane and you can see they're all over here. You can use these little eye tools to just click on and off to identify which graphic is selected. So I'm just going to go along, click the top one, hold down shift key, click the bottom one. Then I go to graphics format at the top. Over here, I'm going to select 1.6 and press enter. Make sure the little tick is checked to make sure it's still square. Then go over to this graphics fill icon, select a color of your choice. I'm going to select purple. And then this graphics outline just puts a little line around the outside. I'm going to select this one here, this color, and you can see now how that works for my design. So now I can put these together. doesn't matter which way you put them around or it's just personal preference. What I will do is just to make sure these are as lined up as possible. They will come apart, but I'm just going to try and line them all up first and group them. So let's line these two up. Select them both, graphics format, align, align to middle. That will align them that way. And again here, align to middle. And then these two to each other, align to center. And then these two, align, align to center. Once these two are now grouped, I'm going to go to group and select group. These two are selected, group and select group. So now I've got these two groups, which means they're the same distance apart in the middle. And what I can do now is just spread them out, go to insert, go to word art and click the first one. Then just insert your text, your email. And I'm just going to select this text, go to the home tab. I'm going to select 12 and then just move this over to email. Now with these word arts, they do jump around a bit. So select it, go to the home tab and select align to left. And then also there's a little shadow on this text as well. You can leave it or you can take it out to do that. Go to format shape and go to text options. Go to this option here, go to shadow and click the drop down, click the top drop down and select no shadow. And now you can see that shadow has been taken off. Now to copy and paste this just for ease because you've customized the text, you can use the usual copy and paste if you want, but I'm going to select it, hold down the Alt or Option key on your keyboard, click and drag, and then just do that to the other two as well. So now I'm just going to select this text and change it. If you make a mistake and put everything in uppercase, just go to the Home tab. Go to this icon here and select lowercase. And now to line all of these up, you make sure you're happy with this one as well, roughly where it needs to be in the middle here. Select this one and this one, not forgetting to hold down that command or control key. Go to shape format, align, line to left. 
those two are lined up there. Then you can press the command or control key again and select this group, select group, and then you can group all this together here. To do the same with this one, again, let's just hover down the middle here. And you can see that these are lined up here, but this address one isn't, so I'm just going to ungroup it all. Grab this one and then just use my arrow keys just to move that down. Just so it's in line with that telephone number there. Select them all, go to group and select group. Select these two and again select group. So now here is your contact section. And we're just going to move that down to the bottom of the page. And then with our graphics, we're going to start back at the top. Go to insert, pictures picture from file. Now I have got this image here which is a collection of different cartoons. You can get this from Pixabay so you just go online. Go to this website here pixabay.com and I've just typed in cartoon sets and then when you scroll down you can see we've got lots of different sets of different things. You can see my image here which allows you to have consistency throughout your poster. So now what we need to do is crop this so that all of the images are individual. So if I just scroll out a little bit, so select it, go to crop and you can see we've got these black markers around the outside, then hover over the image you want to crop out. So I'm going to crop out this one at the bottom here, just crop everything else out and then press enter. Then copy and paste it. I'm just going to select it, hold down the alt or option key, click and drag. Now with these again, you have to go to wrap text in front of text to be able to move them. I don't know why Word doesn't allow you to just move them, but they don't. Select this image, go back up to crop. And what you'll realize is that the rest of the image hasn't actually disappeared. You can just move it around and crop out the next image. So I'm going to select this one here, press enter, copy and paste. Whoops, I'm just going to try and move these out of the way. Crop and go to the next one. So I'll speed up the video and crop out five images. So now we've got all of our images, what I can do is recommend you make them a lot smaller. Then go to insert, shapes, go to the diamond shape here, click, hold down the shift key and draw out a diamond shape reason I do that is if you don't hold the shift key down it won't be a perfect diamond shape. So select it, go to shape format, shape fill and select no fill and then for the outline colour I generally selected colours that are in my cartoons just to make it again more cohesive. Go to more outline colours and you've got this colour wheel you can move this around anywhere in the colour wheel to match your colours but if you're fortunate to have this eyedropper tool, you can simply click on it and hover over any of the sections, click, and then you've got the colour here and click OK. And then that colour will appear in here. But I think the colour I originally chose. So select the rectangle, go to shape format, make sure it's checked here. And I'm just going to make these rectangles 5.7, press enter. And then I'm just going to duplicate it again by that alt key copy and pasting, just deselect these two because I just want five so I'm just going to reselect and make one. Perfect. So at this point you need to probably open up your selection pane. So go to shape format, if it's not there it's because you haven't selected anything and then go to selection pane and along here it will show you everything that you've entered into your document and it's by using these little eyes that you can see which line refers to which graphic. It just means if you're struggling to select something then you can select it from here. I'm just going to reduce all of these groups down because they can be distracting and then you've got all of these pictures here. Let's see if I can just move this group down to the bottom and then we've just got all of these pictures in here. So select your first image or rectangle, you can put it over the top of your image. Let's just move this one out of the way. So move this one over the image. You can see that the image is a bit small inside. So we'll go to the selection pane, find the picture 
it's that one that was lucky select it now you can see we've selected it and now you can see you can just make that a little bit bigger and then again hold down the alt or option key when moving things around it just makes it a lot smoother once you're happy that this cartoon is in the middle select it you can see it's grayed out so it's that rectangle there check it's that picture no nope. that one there hold down your alt or option key and click the two picture format group and select group now that's one image you can ungroup it and change it if you need to it's absolutely fine let's just put this image up here make it a bit bigger and again it hops straight to the rectangle so you have to move the rectangle rather than the picture that rectangle has been highlighted there let's find the picture there we go I'll hold down the auto option key make sure they're both selected and then just group them together okay so now we've got everything grouped together we can now put this into a shape format so let's pull this one down to here again hold down that alt or option key just smooths out that action I've put them fairly accurately together but what I can do is select this one hold down the command or control key select them both align align to middle and then you can select those three align to middle and then if you group these together and then select this one you can just move your arrow keys make sure that's a bit closer together and again once you're happy select everything picture format go to group and select group once you've done that we're going to put the little rectangles in so I can go in and double click on that rectangle and then hold down my alt or option key click and drag it will make another rectangle for me and then I can just reduce the size make sure I hold down that shift key and then once again I can move it to this area here copy and paste it again you can make sure that these are aligned align to middle so let's just select everything in here go to group select group move it round and you can see that's one group then we can go align align to center reduce the size and then we can just use the arrow key to move that down the page once we've done that we can insert the text insert word art go to the black one then I can just insert my text then I'm just going to customize it so select all home change the font I'm going to use big book change the font color I'm going to choose this purple increase the size of it it help if I spelt it right then I'm going to copy and paste this one and then put camps on the next line the reason I didn't type it all in one box is because it allows me to put this anywhere I want I can put it at the end here I can put it closer further away but if I just press the return key it'll default to another line which I might find is too far or too close so it gives me a bit more flexibility so I'm going to select them both shape format align align to center then group then align the whole group to the center and just move that down as well then go to insert again then go to word art and again with this text here I'm just going to insert copy and paste some text across I'm sure you don't want to see me typing so if I click inside and go to the home tab I've used Aroni as the font and it's font size 14 again go to shape format align align to center and then you can move these up or down as it suits you with the design so everything's now perfectly lined up we just need to put up a few more graphics and the logo in so go to insert shapes click on the triangle click and draw out a triangle then you can see you've got this circular arrow here just turn that around move that across the top you can use any angle you want to 
Notice we've got a borderline here. We're going to change that by getting rid of it. Shape fill, again, choose the colors you want. And then what I can do is go to shape format, over to the format pane, go to format shape, go to the bucket, go to the fill icon. This refers to the color in the triangle. And I can just use my transparency slider to make that lighter or darker or change the transparency of that triangle. Once I'm happy, I can copy and paste it because I'm going to use it at the bottom. So deselect it because there was two selected. And then we can just work with this one, change the angle, move it down, copy and paste it again, deselect, reselect the one, and then we can use it at the top here. And just change that color to this blue here. Copy and paste it again, deselect, reselect this one, and then just move it. Whoops. If that happens, just use your command or control and Z, and it will go back one step. Just move this one down. And then finally, just to insert the logo, what you'll do for this one is probably go to insert picture picture from file, select your picture, it will be inserted and then make sure you just go up to, hang on, let me just paste mine in. So this is my logo here. Just make sure you go to shape format, wrap text, and make sure you check this otherwise you won't be able to move it. Perfect. So once you're happy with your design, now all you need to do is save it as a PDF or as a Word document. If you don't want to go to the hassle of creating this yourself, there is a link in the description below where you can download it. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.